All right, today uh, I'm gonna show you how to change out the radiator on a 2002 Chrysler Town & Country. Mine's a limited. Like it really matters whether it's a limited or not, but I just like to tell you. But anyhow, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'll turn it around and show you. I'm gonna take off the top panel, bottom panel, and then this steel or this metal uh, platform that the hood latch is part of. Here, let me spin it around and show you. Well, anyhow, I'll go ahead and take this uh, platform off. Just gotta take that bolt off. And uh, that bolt off. And then that screw, that screw, that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw, I'm screwed. And then uh, I'll go ahead and it's probably a mess down here. My radiator was dribbling all over the all over the place. But uh, this this panel right here, it just held on by these little bolts. I'll take that off. You can see how my colon is just leaking like a sieve. So I go ahead and take that off. See see the coolant. Leaking like a sieve. All right, well, I'll do that and then I'll get back to you. All right, the next step is to get this bridge, this metallic bridge out of the way. And uh, it just has a bolt. Oh, by the way, the fasteners for the, the plastic tray on the bottom and up here was 10 millimeter. Find out what size. Uh, these, there's two here and two here. Find out what size uh, socket goes to that. Well, it looks like a 13 millimeter. So I'll go ahead and take those bolts off real quick. Well, I, I took off that bridge, but you know, Maybe I should disconnect my battery terminal just in case I, uh, I don't want to short anything out when I start disconnecting the fan and stuff. All I know is it's always good to disconnect your battery. So I'm going to take the terminal off. And uh, by the way, they were 13 millimeter that held this metal bar. So, all right, so, uh, after I took that metallic bridge off, there's like a rubber flap that attaches with these uh, plastic fasteners that fit inside these little holes on your, on your radiator. They go over the top of your radiator and just take a, a tool that pops off those plastic uh, fasteners. So I did that. Now, uh, to me, it appears like I got to take the, the electric fans off now, which are connected by these bolts up on top. So, I'll do that next. Well, anyhow, these, uh, these torque screws, they, uh, they hold this top plate on. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to take it off because when I took these bolts off, they were really, really wet. Oh, by the way, I took the fasteners off to loosen the fans. Now I'll have to disconnect the electrical plugs on them. But uh, real quick, I'm going to take this off and take a look at the top of the radiator because it, it sure seems awful wet. Basically, <coughs> A lot of the electrical connections on the town and country I noticed have this red uh, tab that you got to pull out to unlock, uh, unlock the the plug, and then you just uh, you push down on you you push down on uh, this little flap right here. And that releases 
releases the plug when you push down right there. Just push straight down and pull pull it off the fan. Now you just gotta repeat the process for the other side. So all right, well now it's like I stuck a little funnel under my plug to the radiator and have it pouring into a jug. I'm gonna reuse it because my finances are a bit limited. So I just reuse mine and it's new coolant anyhow. Anywho. I had to back off the plug a little bit so it starts coming out. Well, basically I filled up two one gallon jugs of Anyhow. All right, well, the next thing I need to do is remove the bolt that attaches the radiator to the, uh, the air conditioning uh, Freon cooler. The radiator goes to the air conditioner and it, it, and it also attaches, basically you have the uh, air conditioning uh, where it cools down the coolant. And uh, then after that, there's one down there that cools the transmission fluid. And then you got the radiator that cools uh, the uh, coolant to the engine. But I gotta remove the one bolt on that side and one bolt on that side, and then it should slip off the other two radiators. Well, I just wanna give you a quick uh, recap. Once I removed those two bolts that connected the radiator, to the other two radiators, I, I removed the top hose and the bottom hose. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I, <laughs> That I, that I pulled the radiator up out of the hood and uh, reversed the whole process and uh, put the coolant back into the new radiator and that was pretty much it. <laughs>